Hello guys, let's look at this problem right here. Here this question is asking, as shown in the figure, two long straight wires are separated by a distance of d is equal to 0 0.8 meter. The currents are I1 is equal to 2 ampere to the right in the upper wire and I2 is equal to 7 ampere to the left in the lower wire. What are the magnitude and the direction of the magnetic field at the point P which is a distance d by 2 is equal to 0 0.4 for meter below the lower wire okay here we have d by 2 distance 0 0.4 now let's note down the given information first we have d that is equal to 0 0.80 meter that is this distance this is 0 0.80 and then after that we have the i1 current i1 current is 2 ampere okay this current here the 2 ampere then i2 is 7 ampere the bottom current and then what are the magnitudes okay we have d by 2 distance that is 0 0.4 so this one is 0 0.4 let's call this one x2 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 is equal to because we have this from here to here x2 right x2 is 0 0.4 if x2 is 0 0.4 then this one from here to here we are going to have d plus d by 2 because this is d, the d is going to be multi two times of this one, right? So that's going to be 0 0.8 plus this one, that's going to be 1.2 because the total d plus d by 2, that's going to give us 3d by 2, right? 3d by 2, that's how we got 1.2 right here. And that's it, that's it for this one. Now let's see. So here the question is asking us to find out the magnetic field and uh, first if we try to find the magnetic field caused by the top wire and we know that magnetic field equation magnitude let's write magnitude magnitude of b1 now we are trying to find the magnetic field caused by the i1 current and that's going to be equal to mu naught the generic equation is mu naught i1 over 2 phi x1 this is for a very long wire since they have mentioned long straight two wires we can use this equation okay and here we have mu naught i1 2 phi x x1 we have x1 i1 so we can plug the plug it in the equation and find the values mu naught is equal to 4 phi times 10 to the power of minus 7 times the i1 current is 2 ampere and that is divided by 2 phi times x1 is 1.2 and if we simplify this one, this is going to become this is going to become two, and this is going to become two four times ten to the power of minus seven divided by one point two, and that's going to give us three point three times ten to the power of minus seven tesla, or you can say zero point three three micro tesla. Okay, so this is the magnitude of the B one current, the magnetic field provide produce caused by the I1 current okay now let's go to the magnitude magnitude of B2 now we are going to find out the magnetic field caused by the I2 current that's going to be equal to mu naught I2 divided by 2 phi x2 and we know the i2 value and x2 value so we can plug it in this equation that's going to be 4 phi times 10 to the power of minus 7 times i2 is 7 divided by 2 phi times x2 is 0 0.4 and if you calculate this one you're going to get 35 times 10 to the power of minus 7 tesla in micro tesla this is going to be 3.5 micro tesla okay so this is what we have and uh, okay this is what we have now let's go to the next one so this is magnitude the question is asking what are the magnitude of magnitude and direction of the magnetic field at point P so this is the magnitude here we have B1 B2 and if you think about the direction and if you point your thumb toward this current's direction and if you curl it you will see at this point P at this region you will have the thumb the, the curled finger will go inside of the page 
so for this one the direction is inside okay for b1 the direction is inside and for i2 if you point your thumb toward this current direction and if you and if you curl it you will see at this point your thumb will come out of the page so this is going to be dot right so from this one we can find the total magnetic field bt is equal to b1 plus b2 and if we say outside is the positive then b2 is going to be positive right this is 3.5 micro tesla that's going to be positive 3.5 then this is going to be negative because this is in the inside direction so that's going to be negative 0 0.33 and uh, let's put the micro tesla to micro tesla micro tesla and that's going to give us 3.17 micro tesla and the direction is going to be since we are taking outside positive this is going to be outside right since we are getting positive answer and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps Thanks for watching.